السلام علیکم و اللہ وبرکاتہ آئی ہوپ یو آل آر ڈوئنگ گڈ وداؤٹ ویسٹنگ اینی فردر ٹائم آئی ووڈ جم رائٹ ان ٹو دی پروڈکشن دس از دا تھرڈ ویڈیو آف آر میل ویئر ڈیٹیکشن ڈیٹا سیٹ وی لرن ان دس دیٹ وی ہیو ٹو یوز سیون ٹائپس آف ماڈل and then have to uh, do the hyper pair parameter tuning of it uh, the first category would be the glm net the, that include uh, includes lasso regression ridge regression and elastic net regression uh, in the tree based models we have the classification tree the random forest and the bagging model and the final is the basic binary logistic regression model so i have the code here uh, this is the default code that is used and in in the later part we have the hyperparameter tune which uh, would be explained in a while so the uh, let me first give a brief overview of the differences between uh, this lasso regression elastic net regression and ridge regression the uh, basic difference between them is the ridge model has alpha value equal to 0 while lasso has alpha's value equal to 1 uh, if the value of alpha is between 0 and 1 uh, the model is known as elastic net regression uh, although um, uh, cross validation is done by different methods but to make it uh, simplified i used cv.glmnet which performs the cross validation by default with 10 fold which is adjusted using n folds uh, 10 fold c uh, cross validation will randomly divide uh, the observation as, as you can see i have written the description in the code and on the notepad as well that the 10 fold uh, cross validation will randomly divide the observation into 10 non overlapping folds or groups which would be uh, approximately equal to the size of the it yeah so you can read it from here and the uh, cross validation will help us choose the value of the tuning parameter that is lambda now in the cross validation process uh, no in the in choosing the lambda process of the three i initially choose uh, the minimum lambda of, uh, of the original by default uh, model and uh, then i choose the maximum that was in the uh, lambda by uh, i was i typed cv dot lasso let me just type it for the ease cv dot lasso a dollar lem da it showed me various values of um, the lambda let's have a look for classific uh, clarification purposes see i choose a maximum and then i choose the for the third hyperparameter tuning i choose the mean value of it so yeah that was it uh with this one okay uh then uh, in the uh tree uh uh-huh, in the trees method with uh, by with default functions of it i used bagging and classification tree and random forest then in this uh, for the binary logistic regression i i cho- i transform the yes and uh, the categories into one and zeros so it becomes easy but then i also tried it using using it directly and then converting the uh, the my predictions uh, converting my predictions by the threshold value that is 0.5 in all of my models moving to the 
uh, choice of the models uh, the I just fall down yeah so the instructions uh, says that I have to Uh, take these and I was told that I have to finally choose the binary logistic regression classification tree and elastic net regression so I did that uh, otherwise I would have chosen uh, bagging elastic net and binary logistic regression because these are the ones that uh, are giving better results as to accuracy sensitivity and specificity let's have a quick review on what these measures are so uh, the uh, ac this this is not mine actually this is just to clarify what the confusion matrix will show basically the predicted and the actual if uh, both the both are no means it is a uh, true negative or if both are yes it's it means it's a true positive if I predicted as no and actually it was yes, then uh, it is a false positive. If I predicted no, it is a false, it is a true negative, otherwise, it's a false positive. Uh, it says the it clarifies what I just said correct yes prediction is true positive incorrect no prediction is a false negative so sensitivity shows basically the true positive rate that is uh, the true positive numbers are divided by the uh, the sum of true positive and false negative this is sensitivity while specificity is the true negative rate that is true negative is divided by the sum of true negative and false positive coming back here let us run this or before even running this I compiled this all so we have one data set that has every uh, part every hyperparameter tuned try into a single data set so we can compare the accuracy sensitivity and specificity through one data set so let's do this by comparing the initial analysis initial statistical analysis that we had in uh, the original data set and check out its accuracy So it shows 100% sensitivity while 64% specificity and 81% uh, uh, it is accurate. So now we will see how we did it. We simply um, converted the correctly identified clean as no, that is, it was not a malware. Then we uh, said that if it if I say it is a malware then it is a yes if I say it is a malware but it was not a malware I should say that I have claimed it as a yes uh, same goes for this one uh, okay so where should we start with the iteration things let's try with this one 